New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning, 10, stands next to general manager Dave Gittleman during NFL football training camp Wednesday, April 25, 2018, in East Rutherford, NJ. AP Photo, Julio Cortez, Julio Cortez, AP, Ralph Vacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, Archive Dave Gittleman has made it clear he wants to find the Giants quarterback of the future, and he seems intent on doing it sooner than later. But don't be so sure that he'll do it in the draft this year. Despite the fact that the Giants have two first-round picks, and are in good position at no. 6 to take one of the first quarterbacks available, multiple NFL sources caution that the Giants seem to have other things in mind. They are looking into all the first-round quarterbacks, and taking one is definitely a possibility, a team source said. It's just not guaranteed. They have so many needs, especially on defense, said one NFC scout. I don't see how they could pass on one of the pass rushers up there, at 6. And by the time they get to their next pick, 17, all the good quarterbacks might be gone. A team source cautioned it's way too early to know anything about the Giants' direction yet, but that it does not appear that Gettleman has focused on a quarterback the way he locked in on running back Saquon Barkley last year before the Giants took him with the second overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. They are investigating all the top ones, including Oklahoma's Kyler Murray and Ohio State's Dwayne Haskins, but there are many options on the table as they ponder who will replace Eli Manning when his contract expires at the end of this year. They could draft a QB at 6. There only appear to be two options if the Giants take a quarterback here, Murray and Haskins. It's possible both will be gone by then, and there doesn't appear to be much interest from inside the Giants in trading up to grade either one. Murray still seems too small at 5'10 for the Giants' liking. And their interest in Haskins appears to be lukewarm at best, at least at the moment. A lot can change in the next month, but Haskins doesn't seem to have won them over yet. And some in the Giants' organization are enamored by the possible pass rushers who could be available to them this high. They could draft a QB at 17, if the Giants really find a quarterback they love and think is their guy for the next decade, waiting until the bottom half of the first round is a risky proposition. It would allow them to draft the pass rusher they so desperately need at 6, but they'd need a little bit of luck to land a guy like Missouri's Drew Locke here. Maybe Duke's Daniel Jones could make it this far. The other problem is this could be the range where some of the best offensive linemen go, and we all know Gettleman can't resist those hog mollies. He needs some young offensive linemen to protect his future quarterback too. Good for Josh Rosen, if the Cardinals decide to draft Murray, first overall they'll have to put Rosen, the last year's 10th overall pick, on the block. There have been some reports that the Cards are already shopping him, but one Giants source said it wasn't completely clear yet if he's available. What if he is? The Giants would undoubtedly look into it, especially if the cost is low, like a third-round pick. This would allow the Giants to use their first-round picks on a pass rusher and an offensive lineman, two areas of immediate need. There were some in the organization who liked Rosen in the draft last year, but it sounds like he ranked third or fourth of the five first-round quarterbacks on their board. The concern with him seems to be the same thing that concerned them last year, how will his personality play in New York? He can be outspoken and a little prickly. He's not likely to be the calm, stoic, controversy-free presence Manning has been for the last 15 years. Wait until 2020, Gettleman doesn't want to do this, but he might not have a choice. The 2020 class is thought to be much better than the 2019 class of quarterbacks, with Oregon's Justin Herbert, Alabama's Tua Tungavailoa, and even Georgia's Jake Fromm available. Ideally, Gettleman said, he prefers to stay in the moment because, as he so colorfully put it at the scouting combine two weeks ago, it's like, really, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow someone drops a bomb on this table right now, we're all dead. You know what I'm saying. There are just no guarantees the Giants would even be in position to draft or trade up for a top quarterback in 2020.
Also, if they really want to utilize the Kansas City model and have a rookie learn from a veteran, waiting until 2020 would force them to extend Manning's contract for at least one more year. November 11, 2018, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones walks off the field after warm-ups against the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. Mandatory credit, Eric Hartline USA Today Sports Eric Hartline, Jerry Jones is head over heels that Odell Beckham Jr. is no longer in the NFC East, the Cowboys owner joined Fox Sports 1 on Saturday night before the Errol Spence-Mikey Garcia fight at it. How do you feel about that? September 9, 2018, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants running back Saquon Barkley, 26, celebrates his touchdown against the Jacksonville Jaguars with offensive tackle Nate Solder, 76, and wide receiver Sterling Shepard, 87, during the fourth quarter at MetLife Stadium. The touchdown was the first of his NFL career. Mandatory credit, Brad Penner USA Today Sports Brad Penner. The Giants were 5-11 last year and missed the playoffs for the sixth time in seven seasons, and now the consensus seems to be that things will only get worse. There's little hope outside the Meadowlands after GM Dave Gittleman tossed Odell Beckham Jr., Landon Collins and Olivier Vernon away. Yet Gettleman still thinks he can build a winner this season. Even new receiver Golden Tate insisted, I don't think we're as far off as people may think. Pat Shermer has pointed to the 12 games the Giants played last season which were decided by a touchdown or less, including eight they lost, as a sign that it's a short leap to competitive football. Are they all delusional? Or is there really a chance the Giants could be good? January 5, 2019, Arlington, Texas, USA, Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson, 3, in action during an NFC Wild Card playoff football game between the Cowboys and the Seahawks at it. Mandatory credit, Jerome Myron USA Today Sports Jerome Myron Russell Wilson joined the Yankees on Friday in Tampa as a minor leaguer, but the topic of conversation remained focused on football, particularly New York Giants football, the Giants traded Odell Beckham Jr., to the Browns last week, a move that surprised many around the league, including the Seahawks quarterback December 10, 2017, Glendale, Arizona, USA, Arizona Cardinals defensive tackle Olsen Peart 72, sacks Tennessee Titans quarterback Marcus Mariota 8 during the first half at University of Phoenix Stadium. Mandatory credit, Matt Cardozian USA Today Sports, Matt Cardozian. The Giants have added yet another former Cardinal who played in James Bedger's defense. On Friday, the team announced it signed defensive tackle Olsen Peart who went undrafted in 2015 and didn't appear in an NFL game until 2017. He had 30 tackles, 5.5 sacks, 9 tackles for a loss and 9 QB hits across 14 games during that 2017 season when Bedger was Arizona's defensive coordinator. Pierre had 12 tackles in 10 appearances last season. Dave Gittleman, mandatory credit, Danielle Parhiskarin USA Today Sports, Danielle Parhiskarin, Ralph Vacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, Archive, just 15 months ago, the Giants hired Dave Gittleman to fix the franchise. He earned praise for a series of early house cleaning moves. He seemed tough and honest, and it looked like he had a handle on the franchise's biggest problems. Now, suddenly, his new title is Embattled GM. New York Giants cornerback Dominique Rogers Crow Marty, 41, defends against the Dallas Cowboys during an NFL football game, Sunday, September 10, 2017, in Arlington, Texas. AP Photo, Michael Ainsworth, AP, another former Giants defensive back is heading to DC. Dominic Rogers Cromarty is coming out of retirement to join Landon Collins with the Washington Redskins. Rogers Cromarty posted a picture of himself signing with the Redskins on Instagram, although the terms of the deal remain unclear. December 2, 2018, Foxborough, MA, USA, Minnesota Vikings tackle Mike Remmers, 74, at the line of scrimmage during the third quarter against the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium. Mandatory credit, Greg M. Cooper USA Today Sports, Greg M. 
Cooper. The Giants are meeting with offensive lineman Mike Remmers on Friday and it is possible he could be the final piece of Big Blue's O-line puzzle. After trading for Kevin Zeidler, the Giants have shored up the entire offensive line with the exception of right tackle, which currently belongs to Chad Wheeler. Here is what you need to know about the 29-year-old, six-year veteran, Remmers, January 14, 2018, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, Minnesota Vikings offensive lineman Mike Remmers, 74, celebrates after the game against the New Orleans Saints at U.S. Bank Stadium. Mandatory credit, Brad Rample USA Today Sports Brad Rample, Ralph Bacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, Archive The Giants have made far more headlines from the players they've lost than the players they've gained in free agency so far, whether it was from signings or trades. They entered the market with many holes to fill. And even after signing receiver Golden Tate and edge rusher Marcus Golden on Thursday night, they still have a bunch more to fill. Unfortunately for them, they don't have a lot of salary cap space to spend. But there are still a few players left on the market who could be a fit Giants ad veteran Golden Tate 0 hours 0 minutes and 45 seconds New York Giants ad veteran receiver Golden Tate on a 4-year, $37.5 million dollar deal. NFL insider Ralph Bacchiano discusses the signing. Ralph Bacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, archive, buried at the bottom of the Giants press release announcing the big Odell Beckham Jr. Trade on Wednesday, was a quote from GM Dave Gittleman about his off-season plan. You can win while you build a roster, he said. And the deal he struck with receiver Golden Tate on Thursday is proof he's going to try. October 14, 2018, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, Arizona Cardinals defensive end Marcus Golden, 44, celebrates during the fourth quarter against the Minnesota Vikings at U.S. Bank Stadium. Mandatory credit, Brace Hamilgarn USA Today Sports Brace Hamilgarn. After making the splash of signing W.R. Golden Tate on Thursday night, the Giants switched to defense and signed OLB Marcus Golden to a one-year deal, as NY's Ralph Bacchiano confirmed. The Giants were in the market for an edge rusher after the Olivier Vernon trade to the Browns, and they're banking on Golden to be an immediate impact player in his place. He will be playing on a prove-it deal as his recent season's warrant. Golden was a former second-round choice by the Cardinals back in 2015, and he totaled four sacks, 10 quarterback hits, and 30 combined tackles in 15 games that year. It was in 2016, though, that he broke out with 12.5 sacks, 51 combined tackles, and 22 quarterback hits. The Giants have already found a receiver to take Odell Beckham Jr.'s place, as veteran W.R. Golden Tate has agreed to a four-year deal with Big Blue, CAA Football, who Tate is represented by, made the deal official with a Twitter announcement. Tate's deal is worth $37.5 million over the four years, with $23 million in guaranteed money, SNY's Ralph Bacchiano confirmed. Coming out to $9.375 million per season, that is slightly lower than Spodrick's market value for Tate at $10.2 million. It was just yesterday that the Giants' shocking trade to send Beckham to the Browns was made official, but GM Dave Gittleman wasted no time finding his immediate replacement. He brings in a nine-year veteran with reliable hands, and the ability to run any route on the field. October 11, 2018, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. 13 adjusts his helmet during the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia Eagles at MetLife Stadium. Mandatory credit, Brad Penner USA Today Sports Brad Penner, since the Giants made the shocking deal to send Odell Beckham Jr. to the Browns, there have been mixed reviews from New York fans and NFL fans around the world. On one side, fans are upset to see Beckham, arguably a top 10 player in the league, off the Giants. But there are also the fans that are saying good riddance to know. 13, who they believe was a cancer to the team, well, Beckham made sure to clarify the latter theory on Twitter with a little sarcasm. New York Giants Landon Collins, 21, returns an interception for a touchdown during the first half of a preseason NFL football game against the New York Jets Saturday, August. 
26, 2017, in East Rutherford, NJ. AP Photo, Julio Cortez, Julio Cortez, AP. The Giants let Landon Collins walk, and now they'll be facing a motivated three-time Pro Bowler twice each season through 2024. Collins, who signed a six-year deal with the Redskins, with $45 million guaranteed, talked Thursday about facing his former team. Yes, the game has circled on my calendar, Collins said during a radio appearance on 106.7 in Washington, D.C., Denny Medley, with Odell Beckham Jr. Gone, the Giants are in need of help at wide receiver, and they have reached out to one potential replacement, reports Pat Leonard of the New York Daily News. According to Leonard, the Giants have reached out to the representatives for free agent W.R. Chris Hogan, who has spent the last three seasons with the Patriots after spending the first four years of his career with the Bills. The 30-year-old Hogan, who has gotten a lot of work in the slot but is more versatile than that, had 35 receptions for 532 yards and three touchdowns last season while playing 15 games. August 9, 2018, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham, 13, during warm-up at MetLife Stadium. Mandatory credit, Noah K. Murray USA Today Sports, Noah K. Murray, after brief comments on Wednesday, former Giants WR Odell Beckham Jr. was in full reflection mode on Thursday morning, the day after his shocking trade to the Browns became official. So many mixed emotions and feelings, Beckham captioned his post on Instagram. This is all, a lot to process but it is reality. I don't know exactly what to say so just gotta keep it real and short. I want to thank the NY Giants organization for giving me an opportunity to do what God put me on this earth to do, I want to thank the organization and the owners for everything and especially giving me my first chance to be a part of the NFL. I want to thank everyone in that building from the kitchen staff to my main man Jose. I love you guys dearly and always will. I gave you my all every Sunday. To the fans, some happy, some not, I just wanna thank you guys for making my experience in NY something I'll never forget. To the New Yorkers and real NYG fans, you guys will always have a place in my heart, a beautiful city, a beautiful place, thank you for every last moment and experience. Without them, I wouldn't be exactly who I am today. Love, August 12, 2016, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, Miami Dolphins wide receiver Jarvis Landry, 14, embraces New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham, 13, after the preseason game at MetLife Stadium. The Dolphins won, 27-10. Mandatory credit, Vincent Carchietta USA Today Sports, Vincent Carchietta, as the shock and disbelief of the Giants Odell Beckham Jr. trade to the Browns wears off, it is time to dissect whether or not they got a good enough haul in return, the Giants gave up a top three wide receiver in his prime for a first and third round pick plus a young safety in Jabril Peppers. While Beckham may have been a headache for someone in the organization, was that enough of a return for a star wide receiver? Dave Gittleman, mandatory credit, Danielle Parhiskarin USA Today Sports, Danielle Parhiskarin, Odell Beckham Jr. and Olivier Vernon are officially Cleveland Browns, as the Giants' trades were made official when the new league year kicked off at 4 p.m. On Wednesday, Giants GM Dave Gittleman released an official statement about the trades by first wishing both former Giants nothing but the best as the move on with their careers, the New York football Giants would like to thank Odell Beckham Jr. for his contributions, Gettleman said. We truly wish him well in Cleveland, and we want to wish O.V. the best and nothing but success for both of them, August 11, 2017, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. 13, and Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown, 84, talked during the pregame warm-ups for their game at MetLife Stadium. Mandatory credit, Ed Mulholland USA Today Sports, Ed Mulholland. It is far from unprecedented that teams give up on talented players because of their personalities, this is often the case with wide receivers, who many carry a diva label, and apparently that was a major factor in why the Giants dealt Odell Beckham Jr.
to grounds on Tuesday, Beckham often acted foolish at times on and off the field and a source told SNY's Ralph Vacchiano that the Giants thought Beckham was a pain in the ass and that the team wanted to move on from him before it became worse, October 22, 2018, Atlanta, Georgia, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham, 13, reacts after the offense was unable to convert a third down in the third quarter against the Atlanta Falcons at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Mandatory credit, Jason gets USA Today Sports, Jason gets. The biggest trade of the offseason has been made official, as the Browns announced former Giants W.R. Odell Beckham Jr. is headed to Cleveland. News broke on Tuesday night that the Giants' front office decided to trade their star receiver to the Browns in exchange for the team's 2019 first-round pick No. 17 overall, and second third-round pick No. 95, as well as S. Jabril Peppers, Beckham, who SNY's Ralph Bacchiano heard from a source was a little surprised to hear from GM Dave Gettleman that the deal was done, wrote an official statement to the Browns website to show his excitement for this next chapter in his career, Cindergard becoming Browns fan. 0 hours 1 minute and 22 seconds see what New York Mets pitcher Noah Cindergard had to say when asked about Odell Beckham Jr. being traded to the Cleveland Browns. Noah Syndergaard saved his best fastball for after Wednesday's game. The flamethrower was asked following the Mets' 2-1 win against the Astros about his thoughts on the football Giants trading Odell Beckham Jr. to the Browns. He's special. I don't know what the Giants are doing. We'll find out, Syndergaard said. October 11, 2018, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. 13, leaves the field after a game against the Philadelphia Eagles at MetLife Stadium. Mandatory credit, Brad Penner USA Today Sports Brad Penner, not even the guy who created Game of Thrones could imagine such a thing so cruel, George R.R. R. Martin, author of the A Song of Ice and Fire series, is a New Jersey native a big Jets and Giants fan, but he was completely taken aback when the Giants traded Odell Beckham Jr to the Browns in exchange for a first and third round draft pick and safety Jabril Peppers, Martin vented his frustrations in his blog on Wednesday, analyzing the Giants' rebuild 0 hours 1 minute and 2 seconds after trading Odell Beckham Jr., the Giants look to be in rebuilding mode, but what part of the team will GM Dave Gittleman address first? The Giants are set to pay Eli Manning $16.5 million this season and his salary cap hit is a robust $23.2 million. That seems excessive for a 38-year-old quarterback of a team that's shedding its stars and is clearly rebuilding for the future. But the Giants still plan to keep Manning for the 2019 season. And at the moment, it appears they'll be paying him all that money, too. The stunning trade of Odell Beckham Jr. To the Browns on Tuesday did not alter any of those plans, multiple sources have told SNY. Manning is still expected to be the Giants' starting quarterback at the start of training camp, at the very least. And there is no indication at all that they'll attempt to cut his pay. September 30, 2018, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., 13, dances before a game against New Orleans Saints at MetLife Stadium. Mandatory credit, Brad Penner USA Today Sports Brad Penner. The reactions on social media to the Giants trading Odell Beckham Jr. to Cleveland were fast, furious and hilarious, as we've come to expect. Here are 10 of the best memes about the Beckham deal. Draft Profile, QB Kyler Murray 0 hours 0 minutes and 46 seconds Check out the highlights and the numbers from Oklahoma Sooners quarterback Kyler Murray, heading into the 2019 NFL Draft. Kirby Lee, with one franchise-altering move, the Giants went from a team hoping to compete for a playoff spot in 2019 to a team that might not play another meaningful game until 2021. And Vegas noticed, after trading Odell Beckham Jr. to the Browns for the no. 17 pick in the draft, a third-round pick, and safety Jabril Peppers, the Giants' odds to win Super Bowl 54 dropped from 50 over 1 to 80 over 1. 
December 2, 2018, East Rutherford, NJ, USA, New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. 13, scores of touchdown against the Chicago Bears during the third quarter at MetLife Stadium. Mandatory credit, Brad Penner USA Today Sports Brad Penner. The Giants shook the NFL world and arguably set themselves back a few seasons Tuesday night when they traded Odell Beckham Jr. to the Browns. On Wednesday morning, Beckham, who will be reunited with Jarvis Landry and be trading Eli Manning for Baker Mayfield, welcomed himself to the Browns. Click below to see. New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. reacts after missing a catch in the end zone during the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. Bill Stryker, USA Today Sports, Ralph Bacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, Archive Dave Gittleman was telling the truth when he said the Giants didn't sign Odell Beckham Jr. to trade him. John Mara believed the receiver was a transcendent star the franchise could market and build around. Pat Shermer, perhaps his greatest champion in the building, had worked overtime to build a relationship with the man he thought would be the linchpin of his offense. So what happened? How did everything go so wrong that the Giants were willing to ship Beckham away less than seven months after giving him a five-year, $90 million contract? New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning and wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. React in the second quarter against the San Francisco 49ers at Levi's Stadium. Kirby Lee, USA Today Sports, Ralph Bacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, Archive, the fallout from the Odell Beckham Jr. trade won't be clear until the Giants make their next move. It wasn't long ago they looked to be building around Beckham. Clearly they have now blown up that plan. So what's next? How can the Giants replace him? And what does this mean for their present and future? Here's a look at some of the ripple effects from one of the Giants' biggest deals in years. February 27, 2019, Indianapolis, Indiana, USA, New York Giants general manager Dave Gittleman speaks to the media during the 2019 NFL Combine at the Indianapolis Convention Center. Mandatory credit, Brian Spurlock USA Today Sports Brian Spurlock, Ralph Bacchiano, Facebook, Twitter, Archive Dave Gittleman absolutely hates the word, rebuild, now, he has no choice but to use it. No matter how the Giants sell it in the coming days, that's what this franchise is undergoing right now and likely for the foreseeable future. The stunning trade of Odell Beckham Jr. to the Cleveland Browns all but proves it. Gettleman, entering his second year as general manager, has now just about blown up whatever was left from the Jerry Reese era and is rebuilding the Giants from relative scratch. In the last few days alone he's jettisoned two of his best defensive playmakers. Now the departure of Beckham, one of the NFL's top receivers, leaves the Giants barren on offense too. New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Reacts after missing a catch in the end zone during the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. Bill Stryker, USA Today Sports. The Giants' stunning trade of Odell Beckham Jr. To the Browns on Tuesday night dominated social media and, naturally, the back pages of the New York tabloids. Beckham has graced the back pages plenty of times before and he hits the trifecta on his way out of town with the New York Daily News, New York Post on Newsday all making the Beckham trade the back page, Odell Beckham Jr. 13. Mandatory credit, Danielle Parhiskarin slash NorthJersey.com via USA Today Network. Danielle Parhiskarin just before 8 p.m., news broke that the Giants had traded away their star receiver in Odell Beckham Jr. to the Browns, a blockbuster deal that sent shockwaves through the NFL. It is hard to wrap one's head around this deal considering Gettleman had